Consumers around the world are increasingly concerned about where their food comes from. It's a trend that hasn't gone unnoticed at French supermarket giant Carrefour. They wanted to become a global leader in the food transition towards a healthier diet, good for people's health and well-being, while protecting the environment at the same time. But Carrefour knew that just an ad campaign wouldn't be enough to prove to consumers that they meant it. Act for Food was a multimedia platform to demonstrate the commitments the store was making towards better food, such as removing additives, growing produce without pesticides, and stopping the use of genetically modified organisms. Anything that posed a threat to biodiversity. It was just a, you know a brainstorming some. Uh, some ideas until we, we found and we, we came across uh, uh, this crazy story which is that uh, a lot of uh, fruits and vegetables were not allowed to be sold to the general public, which I think is, uh, is, is, is crazy. The team at Marcel realised that under European law, the official catalogue of authorised species dictated what can be sold and produced. It transpired that in Europe only 3% of fruit, vegetable and cereal types were allowed to be produced, meaning around 2 million other varieties were illegal. And it turned out there were many small farmers breaking the law too. This gave us an, an angle, the black uh, supermarket. So we said to Carrefour, well let's sell you know, those uh, seeds and those, uh, those products, let's raise awareness of this and together uh, we, can change the, we can change the law. The black supermarket saw a major print campaign along with a moody TV commercial showing what appeared to be farmers engaging in illegal activity. It turned out they were just bringing their produce to Carrefour stores and it was in those stores that the physical activation took place. We decided to celebrate those people to raise awareness that there were people who were you know, uh, uh, fighting for biodiversity, fighting for us to have access to all those uh, great products. Selling those illegal products could have put Carrefour up against the lawyers. Instead, it saw the law being changed. And we raised awareness again uh, online and this is where we invited people to join uh, the petition, to sign up, to help us bring this to uh, Brussels. It, it created so much PR and it made it to all the big news in France. So it was great for Carrefour to show that putting the, their money where their mouth is and that they are prepared to go a long way to change things for consumers. And that's what landed the black supermarket, the Grand Prix line for creative effectiveness. It's just such a beautiful case. It started with a big point of view, a big purpose-led idea, um, with a stakeholder that matters in the, uh, in the uh, supermarket reality, which is the farmers who put the food uh, in your stores. But then the way they enrolled their consumers, uh, the way they told that story, got legislation passed, and really probably revolutionized how to think about the food industry in, in France through it. And they had extraordinary results for Carrefour to, you know, for that initiative. In terms of, uh, of business results for, uh, for Carrefour, there was a, a, an increase in traffic in the Carrefour uh, store. Uh, so I would say traffic, sales and, uh, and, and PR, which did amount to quite a lot of money. It's never been more challenging to get the money you need to drive growth through marketing. And so if you cannot show the results, the marketplace results, and equate that back to the effort you spent, the effort you made, and then what you spent on it, you're not going to get the money in today's business environment. Hi, I'm James Wright, and thanks for watching Marketing Media Money. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thanks for watching.